Hey you guys, I have a story to tell you. Guess who got sick yesterday? This gal. I wasn't feeling good like all afternoon. I was having these like really bad like stomach, they're not cramps, it wasn't in my stomach. It was like bowel cramps. TMI, I don't know. It didn't turn into anything, but it kept going as the night went on. And I had a, one of them when, it's like that feeling when you need to go to the bathroom, but you don't, you can't go to the bathroom, like you don't have access to a bathroom. Anyway, that happened on the way home from getting Chelsea from school. She has like an after school program that she goes to. I was like, I'm gonna be sick if I don't get home. And I got home and but it didn't turn into anything right away. And so I just started to say, okay, I have leftovers made. I'm gonna hang out here. The kids can kind of get themselves dinner because it was already five o'clock at that point. But within a few minutes of laying here on the couch, I was like, oh dear, I feel fevered. Because all of a sudden I wanted like every blanket on me. And I was already dressed in like sweatshirt and sweatpants. <laughs> like, this is not good. So I quickly grabbed a thermometer just because I wanted to like be able to know exactly what my temperature was. I don't normally worry about that. If I have a fever, I just take ibuprofen or Tylenol and I call it good. With this whole coronavirus scare, um, I just wanted to know exactly what it was as it, if it progressed, right? And so I took my temperature, 99.1, higher than normal, not a huge worry. Within a half hour, it went from 99.1 to two, to three, to five, to nine within 30 minutes, 99.9. .9. And I kind of stopped testing it at that point because I was like really feeling sick, really needing to close my eyes, not moving on the couch. My kids were all like <laughs> hungry, but they recognized that I was not in any shape to help out. Abby was sick on the other side of the couch. It was funny because like I was laying right here and Abby was over here on that side of the couch and she was sick with allergies. The cherry blossoms are blossoming outside and it really gets her in the springtime. And so she was sick, like had totally knocked herself out, had a wet towel over her eyes and she passed out for probably three hours. She probably fell asleep at four, no, five hours. She fell asleep at four and she didn't wake up till eight or nine. She was really not feeling well. So both of us were out. Kaylee was asleep upstairs. She's super tired from PE. She's doing weight training every other day and then she runs like a mile every other day and she's just exhausted and she's a teenager. So luckily I talked to Chelsea in the ride home from school. I was like, you need to come in, finish your anything left from your lunch. You need to make yourself dinner. You need to help Ashley get something for dinner. And so she totally did. She made a sandwich for Ashley. She got her some side stuff to eat. So they were totally taken care of. <laughs> I just stayed on the couch all afternoon, all night, felt better. The fever kind of broke around nine, 9.30 or so. And so I got up and I made myself dinner. We, luckily, we still had that um, leftover hash, or, yeah, hash brown casserole basically, and ham and, and carrots. So I was able to have a really good solid meal, even though it was at 9.30 at night. Um, and that really like helped me out a lot. I drank tons of water yesterday. That helped me out a lot. Um, I slept okay last night, but I did feel myself get two fevers throughout the night. I got like super cold and then I got super hot and the hot sweats. So when I got up this morning at like 7.30 with Jason, I hopped in the shower to kind of, you know how you get the hot sweats when you have fevers like that? You just want to like clean. <laughs> I started clean, came downstairs, did laundry while the kids were getting ready for school. The older kids are on late start. And so we helped, they helped me disinfect like the entire kitchen. They did all of the work, they, we helped, they helped me vacuum, we wiped down every counter surface, uh, we did the table and the chairs, and then I went through with Clorox wipes and I went through all the knobs here in the kitchen and all the door handles, um, and then I made everyone wash their hands for 30 seconds each, be like before they left the door, you know, to go out to the bus stop or whatnot. And then like we wiped, I wiped off the handles before they opened the door. And then again, when they left and they're on strict, like wash your hands at school, use sanitizer when you're offered it, ask for it when you're not offered it, all this kind of stuff, because I don't want them to take whatever I've got back to school. I have a feeling that schools are gonna start to get canceled 
in our district. So we're just gonna see. Um, hang on, let me move laundry really quick. All right, before I start the dryer, it'll make a lot of noise. So I have this product that I got from Jason. He finished for his brother. And I had Kaylee bag it up and I'm not touching it except for the handles. And I'm gonna take that over to his brother. And then I have a check to deposit through the ATM. And I'm going to, actually that's what I was gonna do. I'm going to take two Clorox wipes, one for my steering wheel and one for the ATM machine. <laughs> I'm not being paranoid, but I'm, this is what people need to do to help stop the spread of whatever is going around. So I'm gonna be over cautious, do my duty. I shouldn't be leaving the home, but I do need to take this product to them and I do need to go to the bank, but I'm not gonna go into the bank. I've never actually done a deposit through an ATM before. I normally like to do it in person, but this is one instance where I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it through an ATM to prevent contact with people. So let's go and be cautious. Also, it's so sad because look how nice it is today and I'm having to like stay inside. Just got home. I'm gonna grab these oranges from Costco. Have been so good. So I'm gonna have an orange and some cottage cheese. It's like one of my favorite lunches. When I I don't like to eat lunch at home, but those are two good ones. I might have some of this cow cheese and crackers. I might also have some of this potato casserole. There's only a little bit left, so it's not enough for dinner. Kaylee actually said that she is not feeling well, so I'm gonna hurry and eat here. She's showing the same symptoms I had yesterday. Um, she's kind of getting that crampy in her stomach and thinks that she has a fever, but she won't go get it tested in the nurse's office. But she's about an hour away from PE and they have to run the mile today. So I told her she's gotta make a decision quick. I told her to give me a second to eat this lunch and then if she still feels sick, I'd come and get her. I'm really hoping her PE teacher lets her out of having to make up this run because it doesn't help if you're not feeling well. <laughs> if you have to then make it up. So and you're not feeling well, so we shall see. Oh, my bowl is not big enough. <laughs> You'll see. I normally get a bigger bowl. This is not gonna hold all of that orange. Okay, let's try this one. At least for the orange. You're home from school, Ash, Chelsea? Actually, you're home from your friend's house, right? You went right over there after school. And I just went to pick up Kaylee from school. That's where I was. And she needed a little pick me up. So we got her a smoothie and some nuggets. <laughs> You're really washed out. Here, sit down. How was your day? Good. Did you wash hands plenty? Yeah. Promise? Yeah. Yeah? Everyone's kind of staying away from each other at school, right? <laughs> you guys are like diving in. And before I left, I started 
working on my little notebook here. Any guesses on what I could be doing with this page? I know. Hope it's not focus. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna do my first packing list. I got mildly bored today. I didn't have anything to do. I barely have a load of laundry to fold at this point in the game. And so I, and I disinfected the hole downstairs and vacuumed everywhere. So I kind of was out of things to do. So I just thought, you know, I know we have five weeks, but I also have birthdays and Easter and a whole lot of stuff to do in the meantime. So I'm gonna start my packing list for Maui because that's how I roll. <laughs> it's really yellow in here, but I'm trying to get my chapstick. Picked up Kaylee from school, like I said, and Abby is at her friend's house. Whose stanky sock is on the floor? Ashley didn't wear black socks. I can't stand when they just take off their sock. Chelsea! This girl. I'm sorry, it's a natural thing. <laughs> you had fun at your friends? Okay. Did you wash your hands after coming home? I'm kind of a paranoid. I'm normally I'm not that paranoid, but I am going to sit down and, because I technically still have leftovers for dinner, but Kaylee's now not gonna be hungry. Abby won't be home for dinner, and Chelsea and Ashley have nuggets and fries to eat. Talk to you more later about what's going on with Kaylee, but she's here, so I can't really talk about it, so. But went and picked her up from school. Got a little package in the mail along with the toilet paper that we ordered. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this. We ended up having to order toilet paper <laughs> on Amazon because I was just starting to get kind of freaked out that I wasn't gonna actually get some, and I did not wanna wait at Costco every morning to see if I was gonna be one of the first 100 people to be able to get toilet paper. So we just ordered it, and while I ordered it, picked up myself some new AirPods. I was looking, uh, mine broke, and Why I was- AirPods? No, I'm sorry, uh, AirPods. Oh, no, I'm not that lucky, but mine broke and I was using like the old, another kind and I can't stand them, so. The one big puppy one? Oh. No, hang on. So, anyway, that was my funny, fun package today. Chelsea, Sorry. stop. I'm filming. <laughs> I will, I will film you trying to burp if you don't stop. No, I'm trying to fart. Chelsea! <laughs> <laughs> Stop. She keeps our life very interesting. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and happily decorate my little vacation notebook and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm not all done with it, but I'm just gonna do the packing list because I'm bored. Today I downloaded the app that is a guide tour for the road to Hana. I'm bored, <laughs> so I might as well enjoy what I'm doing and have a fun time. All right, it's much later. We've had dinner. Jason's come home. Um, I already made this list, but I thought I would show you just kind of the decorations that I did for it. This is what we are buying in Maui at Costco. And then there's a Safeway in Lahaina. You're in my shadow, girl. Yeah. And then these are the meals that I know already that we're gonna make based off of this stuff here. And then these are the two restaurants so far that I wanna take everyone to. And then I think I'm gonna pick one that Jason and I are gonna go to. And then here is my packing list. This is mine right here. And then I've got shoes down here that I'm gonna take. And then this is all the stuff we need for swimwear. Goggles, face masks, fins, floaties, sun hat, all that kind of stuff. And then this is my electronics list for everything that I need, like GoPro and the mini adapter for my GoPro. And I just think these little stickers are super cute. And then I make a separate list just for the girls. I did this little unicorn sticker. That's kind of cute. So they, I make a list in general what they need to pack. And then they each get one carry-on per set of two. So Chelsea and Ashley get one. And then Kaylee and Abby get one. And then they each have a toiletry bag that they will pack accordingly. Um, their toothpaste will have to go into my bag because it's getting checked. And it'll be a full toothpaste. We've learned that the travel size toothpaste does not last 10 days. And then this is what goes into their carry-on bag um, for each one of them. So it just helps. I can send this list up with, usually Abby will actually write her own list based off of mine. So she can actually check it off as she goes. But then she has a list that she helps Chelsea and Ashley with now. Um, so she is just really fun and 
um, interactive with them and helping them pack up their bags. You guys, I do this like, I'm doing this so far in advance because I'm bored and I don't have anything else to do. I, I just went and picked up kids and came home and hung out here on the couch with Netflix for a little while because the kids were just, she was coloring. Ashley was coloring for quite a while. No, bring me my phone. Yes, have you brushed your teeth? She hasn't brushed her teeth yet. I'm waiting to read Ivy and Bean. Did you brush your teeth yet? No, but I didn't. Oh, you drew, oh, oh my goodness sakes. You colored that whole paper? <laughs> Holy moly. I'm glad that wasn't marker. That's crayon. That's just crayon. And that's why I get it, got it on my On the other hand, show them. Um, right yeah, her finger is all red. <laughs> that's crazy. You should cut it out into something now, like a heart or something. I got a little bit of eyes. There's eyes in there. It's a little creepy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you should cut it out into something, huh? Okay, come over here. Come over here. I should do a heart. So we're going to read Ivy and Bean, right? We're going to read this, and then it's bedtime, right? It's kind of creepy because I put it like at the end, and when I wake up, it's just staring at me. This is, that is kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. Um... So, I mean, our night is over. I'm going to end this. We've just been very conscientious of telling the kids to wash their hands and what did you do at school. And everyone is elbow pumping at each other or, okay. right? Like, it's elbow bumping. Like that. Oh, I'm getting schooled by my fourth grader. Elbow, <sighs> elbow what? Um, bumping. bumping? Yes. Yeah. Here, give me an elbow bump. What is an elbow bump? Show me. Yeah. So instead of touching and high-fiving, which they do at their school this. a lot in the hallways, especially the principal and I've the teachers will high-five and hand out um, awards. little Cougar awards. Yeah, the Cougar awards. Or a Cougar card. So like they're now elbow pump, pump bumping? I'm the, Whatever they call it. Chelsea, talk to one. Chelsea. She's the one who's correcting us all. <laughs> We're just being very conscientious. <laughs> Um, of what we're doing. Jason now has to reconsider going to his shoe show down in Portland that he does every year because maybe that's not quite safe or he can meet the reps up here and so got to figure out a lot of stuff. Everything is kind of changing and shifting and you know what are people going to do but so people are still traveling though. So far our two airlines that we're flying with have not announced cancellations. United did some cancellations internationally today. They canceled future ones, not like if you've already booked it, but future flights are canceled. So still praying for Maui, it's gonna happen. I have a friend who went to Hawaii yesterday. I think she went. So, you know, people are still traveling there. So let's just hope. We have 35 days. How many days do we have, Ashley? Come here. Um, Last time we asked well, we 37. 37 days? We yeah, left it up with our mix. Oh, should we ask Alexa? Alexa, how many days till April 10th? Technically. 37 days. Well, 37 days. Actually, it's like in night time. So, so technically, sure. today, is, today is done because you're going to yeah. bed. So, so that's 36. Six. And. Did you start the countdown? Yeah. Not quite. I said we should start at like at 30 or something May. Like that. I should think we should. No, that's like next week. Uh, anyway, Ashley, come and say goodnight to everyone. Goodnight. And we will see you next time, right? Yeah. yeah. Say goodnight. Goodnight. Spoon. Spoon said Emma, Emma and Zuzu walk off looking. Important. Important. Being Felt, Felt left, left out what could, could she do if she flipped flip through, through the, the pages, pages 